Hello, everybody. I know I'm going to have some people who can see me and hear me right now, but I do have to wait for the second row of people to join. And I don't remember if that's Facebook or YouTube, but hey, it's somebody. And it's coming up right now. Beautiful. Everybody's here. Hello from New Zealand. My name is Paula Robinson. I am a teacher trainer and practice group leader. And I also work with clients one on one basis around the world. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I am here a bit sooner than I'd first planned when I saw you last time. But hey, that's never a bad thing, I don't think. Now, this is a worldwide platform. And I encourage you to comment with your thoughts, your stories, your questions. And I will read and respond to as many of them as I possibly can. So I have a weekly practice group and it's available to anybody at any time because it's live and it's recorded. So please email me for that information if you'd like to have some more on that. I also teach level one certification of which I've got some classes coming up now in February and March and <laughs> ooh, and da -da -da, announcement. <laughs> I'm doing my very first Chi Talk so that's a monthly event that Spring Forest Qigong do, and it's free. So if you've not registered on Spring Forest Qigong's website for the monthly Chi Talks to get notifications, go do it now. Okay, I know that my classes are on the website for you to see those details. However, the Chi Talk is a little delayed this month, and hopefully that will be on either today or tomorrow, fingers crossed, for you to see at least what the content will be, and it will be available 11th of February. Otherwise, email me, paularobinson9 at gmail.com. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a frog joining me. So over the next five days, I'm with you. I would like to focus on balance and give you a little more information each day about each system, along obviously with our daily practice. I'll also give you a quick hint and tip at the end of each day, if we have time. So today we focus on the wood element, which is the liver system. Color is green. The emotions generated being anger, frustration, and then the healing emotion of happiness. Now, emotions are very, very important. However, it's the balance of those emotions that gets first prize. Balance is what we seek. Yeah. Balance is what heals. This, this is yin and yang in action. We spend our day going through life, experiencing life, and things go up and things go down and go around and upside down and all over the place. These emotions, this system is constantly seeking the balance for us. If you have, well, let's say I've got what? Anger in this hand and happiness in this hand. So if you have somebody or yourself who experiences anger, frustration, say just more times than, you know, than, more, than most. Ooh, check it out. Out of balance. Or maybe you're quite a timid person. You know, timidity is the opposite of anger. And anger is the drive which ignites your desire to stand up for yourself. You know, timidity isn't. Whoop, out of balance. Balance is what we seek. So what if we're happy all the time? I mean, hey, isn't that what we aim to do in Qigong? Is be happy? No. Not, not all the time. Look, not balanced. Our aim with Qigong practice is to be balanced, not sitting in one emotion all or most of the time. So when we do experience life, you know, we're able then to bring ourselves back into balance much, much easier and quicker. And we learn to notice when we're holding ourselves in an emotion that isn't helpful for us. 
we then know we have that awareness, we have the tools, and we rebalance. You might ask, and I'm saying this because I have been asked, how can happy be happy with anger as an equal? You know, it's, it's not that anger's here about to try and sort of punch happiness lights out, you know, just because it's sitting side by side. That sort of anger is the intense emotion, you know, the imbalanced emotion. Anger in its natural state is a really useful emotion. Anger promotes that change and the energy to move us forward in life. So to move forward, we need this balance. Then the ability to organize and plan can flow too, which are some other great attributes of the liver energy system. You know, we're meant to grow, we are meant to learn, and we're meant to evolve. This, this system, as with everything, it simply seeks balance. It just needs us to get out of the way sometimes. We can't have to get in the way of some of these emotions because we, we like staying up here sometimes, hey? So let's now get out of its way, move forward, and let's practice balancing the liver system together. So if you're ready, if you're standing, that's great. If you can stand, please do. If you have to sit or lie down, remember you can always just send your energy body with the intention to do the moves. Feet, hip, shoulder width apart. And going into this now with a little tiny bit more information as to what you're balancing here, why, we, why this is so important. Easy with the knees and start bouncing. One of my favorite moves. Allow the shoulders to relax, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just allow yourself to expel that energy. I'm just gonna have a bit of water, my mouth's gone dry. Hmm. You know, this is the fourth time I've done everyday life. And my, my balance goes out of balance because I still get nervous. But that's a good thing. It helps me prepare. It helps me feel that I'm doing my best and it keeps me on my toes, which I probably need this time of day. <laughs> so raise your hands above your head. And remember, it's the hands. It's not your shoulders. Your shoulders stay on your shoulders. Your hands just come up to the head. You continue bouncing and all the goodness that promotes. Just staying within your own body, keeping your focus on yourself, allowing those hands now to start drifting down, continuing with the bounce. Let's do a twist from side to side. So go left first, please, and then to the right. Just allowing that torso and the head to flow through. Really helping release any energies in the spine and the neck and the hips. Bringing that to an easy stop. Beautiful. After a bounce, I always just take that moment just to really feel into the body, around the body. It's like you're working your sensory muscles to start noticing the energetic changes as you activate this chi. So now we'll just do a couple more. So we're gonna just tap under the eyes, some middle fingers directly under the pupils of the eyes. For those not done it before, you just tap on the tops of those cheekbones. This helps clear all these front meridians and the stomach system. Now we're going to tap at the beginning of the eyebrows. This is all the back meridians over the head, down the back and the bladder system. And you tap quite firmly. So it's cut the Behui point on the top of the head. So you cut one hand 
and you cup quite firmly directly on the top of the head. Now the base of the head, you can hold your forehead with the other hand if you wish, but you're cupping the area where the spine, the neck meets the skull. Let's massage that C7. So the pokey out, squishy bit, that's a very technical term that you won't find in any dictionary. <laughs> that's a, that little lump at the top of the spine. C7, massage that, really, really helps release energy from the head, neck, shoulders. Let's clap the hands, let's just activate this heart energy. And then the elbows, so I'm going to hold left arm out, cup the right hand, I'm going to cup this, the elbow here on the left arm first. And I'm going to switch over to the right arm, and I'm going to cup the right elbow. So the armpit, so raise the arm on the left side again, cup the armpit. So remember, you're right in the armpit, you're not on the ribs here. The right arm, and again. Now we're going to cup the tailbone. Sorry, well, cup or tap. So you can cup the tailbone. That's around here. So it's at the very base of the spine. Just on your bum. Just cup in here. Or you can tap it with the flat of your fist on the sides there. Hips. Tuck those thumbs into the index finger and use the knuckles of the thumb just to tap the hips on that indent behind the bone. And the knees, cup fronts of both the knees. Cup the sides of the left knee. Cup the sides of the right knee. Cup the backs of the knees. And standing back straight again. If you're sitting down and lying down, just ensure your spine is as straight and as open as possible. Your chin is tucked back, aligned with the spine, back into the pose. Bringing your hands in front of the body. So my right hand is at the top of the torso, my left at the bottom. Fingers are apart. Just allow yourself that moment just to feel into your body and your knees soft, your feet are so grounded. My shoulders are relaxed. I'm now gonna breathe in and out through my nose if I can. I'm going to connect the tip of my tongue to the roof of my mouth. I'm going to smile. An internal smile as I think about my heart space and connect to that heart energy. This allows me to work from an unconditional, non-judgmental, love, loving place. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I, we combine together. Call upon your master's energy, whoever that is for you. Instantly, that energy is there to serve you. See, feel, imagine, pretend that that energy is connecting to your lower dantian light deep behind your navel. And as that light grows now from a very shiny white small pill light into a larger, soft, beautiful light of ball of light. Give that energy some intention. What would you like to happen during this practice? Have you got a particular area that you would like to heal? If so, then ask. Hey, do you want to go check out my knee, please? Or the pain in my shoulders or balance my emotions. Always with thank you and gratitude, it will be done. Set the intention now for the breath, physically, yes, in and out the nose. But intend that every time I inhale, that air, that air around me, that breath is going to come in through every part of my skin, up between my toes and my head and my ears and my skin and my torso, everywhere. And it's going to gather in my lower dantian. And when I exhale, 
it will shoot out from the lower Dantian to the ends of the universe, and it will carry with it the excess energy that no longer serves me. I let it go. So we begin the moving of the yin and yang. The right hand moves slowly out to allow space for that left hand to move upwards. Your fingers are open, your shoulders are relaxed. Your left hand now travels as far as this forehead, third eye, as the right hand gets to around the pubic bone area. And the left hand moves out to allow the right hand the space to travel upwards. Try not to go too quickly with this. The slower you go, the more chi you gather. You can introduce the color green. Think, just think green, that's it. Or if you've got a very vivid imagination, as I can have sometimes, you can introduce green any way you wish. And then just let that be. Everything is set in place now. The posture, the intentions, the breath, the movement. Now bring in the key to healing the liver system. Bring in happiness. There are so many ways you can do this and keep your mind occupied on what you intend to receive. You can repeat the word happy, happiness over again. You can think of a happy thought <clears throat> and it could be, oh, I don't know, it could be the silliest thing in the world. It could be a fantastic happy memory. Or it could even be something you've just made up right now, just because you want to. Play with your mind, use your imagination. But all you need to really do is think happiness and for every nanosecond you can focus on happiness that frequency that healing energy is being absorbed by you right now so i'm going to leave you for a few moments enjoying your own vibration and healing of happiness The mind wanders, that's perfectly fine. Just please be happy that you've noticed. And just gently bring yourself back to the focus of the energy you wish to receive. Observe your palms, the feeling in your body.
Now, most of all, just be happy and so grateful for the simplicity in which you can heal your own system. I'd hooked into a memory from last week where I was just oh, so happy. But <laughs> another thought's just come to mind that interrupted that one for some reason out of somewhere. I saw or remembered the Muppets. For those of you that know the Muppets <laughs> and this song, Manamana, do 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 do, Manamana, do 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 do. <laughs> this is what my mind does and I just go with it and you see the response the reaction it makes me smile it creates the feeling I have the feeling of being happy so let your mind just wander let your mind offer up anything it may rather than trying to stay rigid in one particular way. Your own personality will come through your own thoughts. And ideally, your enjoyment of the happiness as you do this move will increase. Giving yourself another rotation. Gently allowing yourself to stay in happiness, feeling so good. You've completed the rotation. Just allow your hands to settle in front of your lower dantian for a moment. The ladies have your right hand towards your torso and gentlemen left hand, uh, and left hand out. Gentlemen left hand towards your torso, right hand out. It's a yin yang thing. But just sit with that, please, just for a moment. Again, feel into the energy. It doesn't matter if you don't feel anything. Stop looking and just observe. you now intentionally bring that light in your lower dantian from this beautiful soft ball allowing it in your mind to spin and spin become smaller and brighter as it does until it becomes that small bright white energy pill again that you tuck deep behind your navel as we now harvest this chi and rub our hands interlace those fingers massage your face so use the first two fingers the base of the nose up to the forehead connect all four fingertips and down to the chin and start again at the base of the nose so we're distributing this chi through all these meridian points on our fingertips and our face on every move that we do here comb the head so we get fingertips i'm going to comb from the front to the back so your fingertips touch the scalp and you just go from the scalp here, front to back. Then we can pat the head. So copping, again, cop, we're not slapping ourselves, we're copping. So cop front to back, always front to back. Oh, that was a nice practice, thank you. Then we're going to do ears, so grab the ears, thumb and index fingers, start at the top and work your way down the ear, get to the ear lobe and give it a pinch or a pull and start back at the top of the ears. Let's cup the base of the head again. So you can hold the forehead if you wish and just cup the base of that head. 
Now outstretch your left arm, cup the right hand, start at the shoulder area and down the inside of the arm, turn around and down the outside to the wrist, turn back to the wrist and back again. So you're just both sides, cupping down the arms, always finish on the back and start on the other side on the inside and alternate. Then we're going to do the chest after this. So one more on the arms. Cut both hands, start around the collarbone and cut down the chest and the front of the torso. Let's raise that left arm again. And we're going to cut from the armpit now down the side to the base of the ribs. And over to the right. Remember again, we always start on the left and we move to the right. Remember taking the armpit as you do this. Kidneys, let's give the kidneys a cup. Sometimes people struggle to reach them because they're quite high, but don't worry. Again, if you can only reach here, then just intend that this vibration is on the kidneys. Where you intend is where the energy will go. So cup those kidneys, give them a massage, rub with the palms of your hands. I'm just gonna rub here. And then you can turn the palms over and rub the backs with the backs of your hands on the kidneys again. Tailbone, let's give the tailbone another tapping. So again, for those new, it's just a flat fist here, very soft, or you can cup on the tailbone, basically your bum, just here at the bottom, right on the base of that sacrum. I've seen people tap up here, which is, is not quite right. We wanna go further down. This is a really good one if you've been sat down for a while. Let's go back on the hips again. Tuck those thumbs in and tap the hips once more. And let's just do the knees again now. Okay, cup in the tops. Cup in the left side. Cup in the right side. And cup in the back. Beautiful, done. Hint and tip, we have time. I actually had a couple for you. So let me see. One, and I do have time for these. Both of these are for the liver, okay, specifically. because It's liver day. And I, I got very clever and I put a marker in the book, but it fell out. <laughs> oh, I think. The intention was there. There we go. I found it. All right. So the liver, there's one here. And why I'm going to show you this book, Head to Toe Healing Masculine, Spring Forest Qigong website. Great. If you've not got the book, go buy it. It's really good. I'm going to show you this because as much as I tried many contortions today on how can I actually show you this move, <laughs> this technique uh, that Every time I was like a one-legged chicken, I just kept falling over. So that's not going to happen on here, not live, all right? So let me show you this. You get on your foot. For those that you can reach on your foot here, you find the point between the large toe and the second toe, between those bones, about two inches, 20 centimeters up, and you massage on that point there. This is great for the liver. All right, so you just massage on that area on both feet. It really helps with blockages in the liver, anger, insomnia, and the book itself gives you a lot more details anyway. And if you've got the book, go and check it. That's on page 92. And there is another one, <clears throat> um, the liver. This is for liver problems and others. So you get the left arm, you place it in front of you. I might stand up for this. Just in front of you. So the arm is 90 degrees angle and parallel to the floor. Right hand, you're going to cup about one inch down from the elbow. So we're going to cup in that area here. For around two minutes, you do this. But that might seem a while when you're doing it to start with, but honestly, to, to actually clear blockages in the liver, if this is all you have to do, two minutes is nothing. So you cup two minutes on the left arm here. And when you've done that time frame, you turn around and you do two minutes on the other. So my arms parallel to the ground. My shoulders are relaxed. I'm not stiff on the shoulder. 
and, and very quite firmly cup on that area there. <clears throat> you can do that oh, three plus times a day, two minutes either side. Thank you. That's me done already, how quick it went. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you so, so much.